Buongiorno. Ciao a tutti. We're here in Sirmione today on the Garda Lake and uh, we're gonna take you with us in our adventure. We're gonna spend the day in Sirmione. We have a lot of events planned today, so we are gonna take you with us. And look at the view. We woke up early today at 6 a.m. We left Fabio's home and now we're here. Look at this bunny squatting. So first stop in the agenda is we're trying to fly the drone. <laughs> Bunny, how was it flying the drone? For me, honestly, guys, it's always so stressful because I'm. He gets scared every know. time. I just get scared that it's gonna crash and then I'm stressed out. It's not a cheap drone. Yeah, exactly. I'm just so. I'm. Can you imagine if I had to fly it? I know. I would just be stressed out beginning to end. <laughs> I am not a good pilot as well. I'm new to this drone flying thing. And what's scary is in the middle of the flying, it has signals that, oh, the wind is so strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the drone literally tells me the wind is so strong. There's intermission or what? Are you? <laughs> interference, uh, interference, not intermission, interference. And sometimes I see on the camera that the signal between the two cameras, my phone and the ca drone camera is losing a little bit. So it's a bit scary, but we got a good shot. It is scary because you just see one dot in the air exactly. and, and a bird attacked it. Actually. A bird <laughs> attacked the drone. But anyway, right now we are going to find coffee, maybe. Actually, we're going towards the entrance of Sirmione, which is a beautiful castle, very medieval town. It's gorgeous on the lake. Yeah. And uh, we'll show the castle later too, but maybe beautiful. also breakfast. And now we're here at the Castello Scaligero, which is a beautiful castle at the entrance of Sirmione. And let me tell you, let's go. Let me, let me tell you, let's, let's go. go. Let me tell you, let's go, he said. <laughs> let me tell you, let's go read what it is about. Because <laughs> I know there's some information there. This castle was built in 1277 and it's wonderful. It's the entrance of Sirmione and part of the castle is built in the water. It used, it, it used to be obviously for defensive purposes and now it's just a wonderful thing that we can admire. What I love about Italy and Sirmione also is the fact that you can drink from here. <laughs> The beauty of traveling this early is there's nobody around us. <laughs> it's so cute. Mm -hmm. But also, obviously, there's a pandemic going on, which we're about to tell you affects going into the castle. So before you come to Sirmione, if you're planning a trip here, make sure, make sure you book everything. Make sure you book your spot to go into the castle because they have time slots, specific time when you can go into the castle. Yeah. Everywhere we are going today, basically, we had to book in advance, which we did just last night, of course. Um, but, yeah, and that's it. Temperatura normale. Temperatura normale. Ciao per due, per favore. Temperatura normale. Uh, sì. Grazie mille. So before you go in, obviously, they check your temperature. And it's so embarrassing because the machine the machine literally yells at you. Temperatura normale. And if it's if you have fever, yeah, everybody will hear it. <laughs> and then basically once you get in, there's they form a small group so that they can escort us all together upstairs or to visit the first area of the castle. They control the group from here. We have to go upstairs. We only have 20 minutes and we need to go clockwise. 20 minutes to go all the way around. So we can even do it twice. 
obviously all this is due to COVID. In general, it's obviously a bit more, uh, they allow a bit more people in. It's so funny because they always say fun facts but off camera. At night they light up the front of the castle with the Italian flag and it's so stunning. It's really really magical and uh, hopefully we can show you tonight but I'm not a hundred percent sure. That mask looks good on you. Thank you. It's from Yanni Makute's mom. <laughs> Follow her on YouTube. Thank you for acknowledging. This is not forced. <laughs> <laughs> hand sanitizer everywhere here so I have a story for you guys it's quite a, a dramatic story actually about this castle and the people that lived in here in a stormy night there was a nobleman from Venice that asked for shelter to the two people that were living in this castle Ebengardo and Arice they said yes we're gonna take you in the castle for the night because it was stormy it was ugly weather and they were just very kind people. Arice was a beautiful woman and the guy that found shelter in, their, in this castle tried to seduce her. He went to her room, tried to seduce her, but she said no because she was very faithful to her husband. The sad part is that this man didn't accept the rejection and he brutally murdered her in her room <gasps> with a knife. No, he did not. He did. Really? Yeah. I'm actually finding out about the story as well as we go, so we're learning together here. He actually murdered her? Just because she said no to sex? Ebengardo at that moment was sleeping in a different room, but he heard her screaming, so he ran there, she was already dead. So he killed the killer, actually, of the wife. So basically the wife was dead, the noble was dead, and he lived in this castle but he was broken hearted and eventually he died because of that. And it's said that you can still hear him and see him walking around the castle looking for her wife. Oh gosh, I hope I don't see him. Go Busna. Sorry, there's a lot of sexy men. So to get into the castle, it's six euros each person and you get 20 minutes due to COVID. I don't know about regular hours before COVID or after COVID, but it's 20 minutes to go around, it's not big anyway, you get to see everything and it's a nice view up there. So now our mission is to look for breakfast, coffee time! Now we're in this very cute coffee shop. Now we're in this very cute coffee shop here in uh, Sirmione, just uh, behind, the, like in these little streets, you know, we just got lost and we found this cute place and we're just gonna have breakfast. So we just had breakfast and now, as usual, we're gonna explore the town. It's not really a big town compared to Venice. It is very small, so I doubt we need one hour, maybe just 30 minutes. That's about it. We're just gonna explore and later we're gonna go to the cave. Oh my god, we were just walking and look at this tree growing in the wall. That's so crazy. It's a fixed tree, by the way. If you didn't know, I studied that, agronomy. Whoa, yes, she's a smart I know, bitch. I know. She's smart. I didn't tell you this, but guess what? There is the house of Maria Callas, amazing opera singer. I don't know where it is, but it's here. We are now just getting lost and it's the best. Oh my god, we're back in the castle. It's gorgeous. This square is like full of bars and restaurants and the boat arrives just there. It takes you to different parts of the lake, obviously.
We arrived here that it was 7 a.m. and now it's uh, 10 a.m. and the streets are getting a lot more crowded because it's full of tourists. But it is what it is, right? Here in Italy, Italians are very self-conscious with their weight. That they literally have a weighing scale in public use, for public use. I'm joking, but it is what it is. It's here in public. If you're curious, it's here by the lake. Right now it's about 10.15 and the reason why we're walking back to the car is because we parked in a free spot, uh, but every three hours we have to change the time. But you know what? We're still gonna do it because here in Sirmione, Parking spots are extremely expensive, especially here close to the castle. One hour, two euros, 80 cents. Which if you think about it, we're gonna be here the whole day and that's gonna be a lot of money. No mistake? Nothing. Wow, all in one take. You're becoming a great travel vlogger. That's also the reason why we came to Sermione. Sermione, Sermione, very early. So we get the free parking spot because look, they're all full now. Yeah. And and you know what? Even if you pay, you can only stay eight hours, which yes. for us is nothing because we'll be here all day, all, day. all night. Now that we change the time to our car, we are going to the Grotte of Catullo. It's a beautiful, beautiful, stunning place. I just Googled it. I've never been, but from the pictures that I found, oh my gosh, it's going to be crazy. Andiamo. And then... Andiamo. Andiamo. 